to facilitate you, you have to go over. Items and small children, and he is also who San Antonio is named after. Back in 1968 for the World's Fair, Portugal was here hosting it with us side by side, and by the time this six-month-long party was over, Portugal gave that to us. We placed it here, which was, at the time, the new extension of the Riverwalk. The piece of the Riverwalk that we just came out of, where y'all loaded up at, that was all built here in 1988. That's as new as the downtown Riverwalk gets when the mall was built. But speaking of the mall, remember how I was telling y'all about the mall and how I said it was built on holy ground and how they left a piece of the church still standing between Texas and Mexico. It's supposed to be two people hugging. Well, after a couple more drinks, you'll be able to see that better. <laughs> but right in front of us here, that's usually the first thing you see when you Google search San Antonio Riverwalk. That's the first thing that pops up that bridge. Yeah. And the restaurant right there with all the colorful umbrellas. That restaurant yeah. is called Casa Rio. Casa Rio opened up here in 1946. They were the first restaurant on the river, and they were also the restaurant that started the river boat tours. I'll tell you more about that when we circle around again. Let's take a left turn here. We're now going to be entering inside the original river walk. This river walk was built in the 40s by architect When he was designing this river, he was going for the Venice type scale. Well, if anybody's in the mood for pizza, we got a brand new pizza shop that just opened up a couple months ago right here on my left. It's called Field. And they got really good brick oven pizza here. That red thing right there, that's the brick oven. They got friendly people around too. <laughs> right in front of us, that's the Prost House. That's like the beer garden along the river. They're going to be playing live music until 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're about to enter inside the old the river. This is called the Artisan River Theater. On the left hand side it seats about 200 people. And right now they're practicing for a live performance that will be happening tomorrow. Wow, they got a live performance on the way. Yeah, it's like something that's rambling. Wow, it's like something that's rambling. We'll come here. We'll come here. Rehearsal in progress. Yes, that's right. I would say that too, but, but yeah, that's yeah, true. Definitely getting a buzzing What's that? Okay. Is it, is it? Briscoe Western Art Museum. The Briscoe's been here ever since 2013, but it holds things inside, like Santa Ana's sword, the original map of the Alamo, an original cannon used in the Alamo and tons more things to take a look at. We just missed that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that'll be happening tomorrow there. They'll be playing there. It's free. Show up. This little island right here on my right, it's called Marriage Island. That's called Marriage Island because the roots from that tree is shaped as a heart. This holds over 300 weddings a year and four to five proposals a day. I know. I didn't believe it either. Yeah? Until I started driving the boat and now I see it happen all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single day. Style. Gothic design. Octagon shaped structure building. But take a look right left. here on the second floor. Do you see these heads? Those gargoyles? Those evil, scary looking heads. They were put there in 1929 by the original owners, Smith and Young, to wear off evil spirits and bad business. But it didn't work. Just after having been up and running for only seven months, the stock market crashed and they lost everything, the whole entire building. It was sold for just pennies on the dollar. 
now is long. If we continue going straight, we'll end up to Incarnate Word University, where the Blue Hole is, also where the Edwards Aquifer meets. Yes, the San Antonio River, this river, is where we get the drinking water from. And if we continue going back down south behind me, we'll end up to the Guadalupe River, eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. That's how far this river goes. It's called uh, the San Antonio yeah, River. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's called the San Fernando Cathedral. Inside this church, it holds the bones and the ashes of the defenders of the Alamo. Oh, yeah. This church has been here ever since 1738. Oh my God. Yes, just like Freddie Walker. <laughs> but San Antonio was built around that church. The neighborhood was founded there. Everything started building around that church in the 1700s. Pretty cool. They're going to be having that light projection show here tonight, starting at 8 o'clock. 8, 8.30, every 30 minutes on the hour. The last one's at 10 o'clock. And the light projection show shows San Antonio's past, present, and future plans of the city. Pretty cool, and it's free. That's, free. That's called Hugman's Oasis right here on my right. It's the only tiki bar along the river, and they're going to be open tonight until 11 o'clock. But taking a right turn here, we're going to be going underneath the guillotine-style floodgates. This floodgate drops down, and it cuts off the water. We use this anytime we have any heavy rain or when they're cleaning out the river, which is every five years. The last time they cleaned that small little place right here on my right, that's the Esquire Tavern. Inside that bar, they have the longest bar top table in the state of Texas at 109 feet long. It's on the wood. That place on top of it, that's the canopy by Hilton. At the very top, they're condominiums. In the middle, apartments, and at the bottom, it's a hotel. At the very bottom, it's a restaurant. Well, this beautiful hotel right here on my left, it's called the Omni Hotel. The building has been here ever since 1856. Back in 1856, it was the St. Mary's School for Boys. So they moved it to the west side, where it's St. Mary's University. Two alumni came back in 1960. They bought the building. They turned it into a hotel, just in time for the 1968 World Fair, which I'll tell you more about coming up here shortly. All right, now get your cameras ready. Coming out from underneath this bridge, take a look at this building right here on my left hand side. All the way up on my left, you're going to see an optical illusion. What appears to be a freestanding wall. Take a look on my left, all the way up, right to the bridge. Formerly known as the Nix Hospital, back in 1921, this hospital was the first hospital to receive central air. It was also the first hospital to have an in-board hospital unit in the United States. Right here at the bottom where Bubba Gumps is, this is the basement, and this is where the morgue was. The hospital went up for sale about three years ago, and it was quickly bought out by the Marriott business. So now this hospital is going to be a Marriott hotel within the next four years.
इसका कहाँ से पड़ेगा इसका एक्सपेंसिव है बहुत ही अभी से बुक कर लें But this restaurant right here, right? She's not in the area. The original is the only restaurant open on the river until 2 a.m. Everything else along the river walk closes at 10 o'clock. Oh, wow. With the green umbrellas right here on my right, that's Boudreaux. They're known for their prickly pear margarita and the table side guac. Yes. And this place right here on my left, Cafe Olay, they're known for their biggest margaritas. Biggest margarita. Okay, I'll put margarita on the margarita. Those are my favorite mariachis right here on my right. They usually stay in this area. Those are the best mariachis. Abhi aate hain, Murgyo. So if you want a song, all you gotta do is just say, hey, can you sing this song or play me a song and I'll do it. Oh, I say that because we got like four different mariachi groups down here, so they probably all look the same to you, though. <laughs> well, we circled around and we came back around to the restaurant with all the colorful umbrellas. That's a real. Remember I was telling you about this restaurant? I said they were the first restaurant on the river, and they were also the restaurant that started the riverboat tours. Yeah, well, yeah. back in 1946, it was the only thing along the river walk for a while. So you can imagine how long the wait was to get inside this place. But instead of having all these people just waiting around for their table to be called, they sent them off on a gondola ride. And by the time we bring them back, their table would be ready. Well. It was such an excellent service. The city of San Antonio decided to buy it off them, and here we are today. This section was built in 1968 as an extension to get to the World's Fair event. And I know you've been hearing me talk a lot about 1968 and the World's Fair. Well. Back in 1968, San Antonio was hosting its 250th birthday as a city. What started off as just a small town fair ended up becoming this huge world's fair. We had the opportunity to host the world's fair here in San Antonio, also known as Hemisphere. And the theme was the confluences of civilization. That was representing different worlds coming together as one to unite in unity. And it was also a party to attract tourists and tourism around different countries and different cities. Well, this party was such a hit; it lasted about six months long. Yeah. Well, put a pin in that and take a look at these two beautiful flower statues right here on my right. This art piece right here is called Bloom, and those are both made out of recycled bicycle parts. Pretty cool, right? Yep. Oh, it's much fun. But back to this World's Fair, it was basically like a huge show and tell. Everybody brought something that they had to show off as far as attracting tourists with. And since San Antonio, we were hosting it, we were able to build something. So we made this. Take a look on my right in the sky. That really tall skinny tower, that's called the Tower of America. That stands 750 feet high. It has a rotating observation deck, and it has a restaurant. The restaurant up there is the Chart House Steakhouse, and the steps to get up there, that's about 975 steps to get to the top. They do this race every 9/11 in honor of the firefighters from that day. 
and so far the fastest person that can run up those stairs with all the firefighter equipment on is at five minutes. Five minutes. That was back in 2002. Yeah. Till this day, the five record minutes, has minutes, not been broken. But yes, there is an elevator, and in case you're wondering about the price, how much is it to get up there? It's the same price that y'all paid to get on this boat. Yep, same discounts. But in case that's a little pricey for you already, and you're a little bit on a budget, taking the stairs is free. I want to try it. Might be worth it. Or what? <laughs> you don't pass out. <laughs> but what if us here? That's called the stargazer right in front of us. That's all made out of volcanic rock from a volcano in Mexico. It was done by an artist from Mexico City named Pedro Reyes. And they're still not finished with this yet. They're going to be adding some graffiti repellent around it. And they're also going to be adding a gate around it. A huge gate around it because too many people have been climbing on it. This all the way to the top. But now, does this area look a little bit familiar to you? Come here. Yes, this is right. And thank you so much.